Shopify Lite versus Shopify Basic. Hi guys, welcome back to Eminent website. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Shopify Lite and Shopify Basic. And we're going to be determining what is the main difference in both of them and what key features that both of these plans provide. So before we move on with the video, I would like to say if you want to sign up onto Shopify, click on the link in the description below and you'll be able to sign up onto Shopify with your very own 14 day free trial. So having said that, let's move on with the video. So first, let me just show you what Shopify Lite basically is, what it provides, and then I'm going to show you how we basically use it and what is the key differences. So first up, this is the platform, as you can see, shopify.com slash Lite. So this is how it looks like. So what they basically did is that they've made a new plan, but the key difference that they did is it's much, much more cheaper. So Shopify Lite costs you like $9 per month and the normal version costs you like $20 a month. So as you can see over here, what is Shopify Lite? So this is a plan for merchants who are looking to sell in person via POIS Lite or add a buy button to their existing website. With Shopify Lite, you can get features to view reports, issue gift cards and spread bills, among others, as these features are also available onto the other plans as well. And you can't build an online store on Shopify Lite. So that is the main difference. So basically, it's for people that want to sell in person. So and over here, as you can see, we have copy, paste and start selling. We can turn any website into a money making business in seconds with the buy button. Whether you're on WordPress, Squarespace, Tumblr or anywhere else, just a few clicks and you can turn your website into an online store accept credit cards anywhere, sell at events, fairs, pop-ups, anywhere your business takes you. Our point of sale app makes it easy to accept payments with your iOS or Android devices. And you can create invoices and get paid. You can create wholesale, phone or custom orders right in your Shopify, send invoices directly to your customers and accept payments without any fuss. It is basically not an online store anymore. You basically sell in person. So the sign up process is very similar to the regular sign up. Basically, if you sign up onto Shopify basic and sign up on Lite, it's exactly the same. You don't have any new options or stuff like that. However, once you've signed up, as you can see over here, you have more options. So you have ad locations instead of, you know, customizing websites. Then you have ad products as, as you have over here in the standard plan. And then you have set up shipping. You have confirmed taxes and then you have set up POS. So this is basically the point of sale. This is where the light version is much, much different. So over here, as you can see in the standard version, you have ad products, you have customized theme, you have ad pages, organized navigation and ad domain. And over here you have different options for the POS. So in ad location, all you have to do is use your location to track inventory and fulfill orders. Locations include retail stores, warehouses, offices, pop-up dropshippers, or any place you stock product. Then you have add products and then you have set up shipping so decide how you want to get your products to your customers choose from shipping local pickups and local delivery and then you have confirmed taxes basically over here you can manage your tax settings and review your tax settings by region and stuff like that and then you have the setup point of sale basically over here you can start selling in person at your brick and motor or pop-up locations in just a few steps and then over here on the left side, you have basically all of your regular options and tools such as orders. Over here, you'll manage your orders and then you have products. And over here, you'll manage your products, you'll add your products and stuff like that. And then in customers, you can manage your customers and their information or buying information and tax information and stuff like that. And then you have analytics over here. You basically, you know, get a full report on all your store, basically total sales, online store sessions, returning customer rate, online conversion rate and stuff like that. Then you have marketing over here. You can, you know, promote your store through ads and stuff like that. Basically, you know, create a campaign or choose a campaign through templates and then Shopify will promote your shop via ads on Snapchat or Facebook or Google or wherever you want. And then you have discounts over here. You can manage discounts, promotions, create discount codes that can automatically be applied at checkout. And then down below you have online store. You basically, you know, edit your store basically added your website it's not a store anymore because you're selling in person those were all the regular options that we would get on the basic plan and then down below what we get in the light plan is the buy button 
now what this will basically do is this will basically you know add a buy button onto different websites such as tumblr or wordpress or stuff like that and once you've created a buy button you can sell your products online and let customers check out right away it's pretty simple and then you have the point of sale like as i said before this is the main uh, difference over here so in point of sales over here you will have a couple of different options where are you planning to sell in person so at a market and fair casual temporary location at a pop-up seasonal short-term locations or in your own brick and mortar store which is a permanent location choose whichever one you want and then move on accordingly and then down below you have staffs and over here you can basically you know add different people add different staffs and then you have locations and then you have settings at the bottom now that we know a little bit about shopify Lite and how it works let's go ahead and add some products and add locations so to add product what you need to do is you can simply add a product manually by clicking on the add product button and over here just simply add in all the information that it requires or you can do the easier way which is going over to the app store and over here okay so the app list isn't available right now so let me just go over to the other web store that i created so over here as you can see we can see all of the applications i don't understand why we couldn't see them in the light version but whatever the process is going to be exactly the same just simply download obrello and once you click on it you know once you open it up once you've signed up all you have to do is go over to find products over here this is going to be how it looks like and all you have to do is find the product that you want just simply hover your mouse over it and let's just assume that this is the product that we want and all we have to do is just simply click on add to import list so what you basically need to do is go over to the import list over here and you'll see your product over here so over here as you can see this is the product right here holding pet dog carriage so what you can do is you can change up the name a little bit you can change the variations of the product you can change the pricing and description and then you can select the images that you want to keep for your store as a preview whichever image you choose is fine like once you've done that just simply click on import to store wait for a couple of seconds for the product to be imported and once it's imported you can go ahead and check it out so as you can see it's imported you come over here into the products and over here you'll see the product over here so that is basically it that is how you you know simply import products and the process is exactly the same for the light version as well i don't understand why the applications aren't showing up but the process is exactly the same so once you have added the product what we can do now is we can add the buy button so let's go ahead and click on the buy button over here and over here click on create a buy button so right over here what type of buy button would you like to create so the product buy button or the collection buy button so recommend for is showing an entire collection of a full app and this for the full page and this one is recommended for showing one product on a blog post or website so let's go ahead and go with that and over here what we can do is we can search for the product over here as you can see we don't have any products as of yet let me just go ahead and add the product actually so that we can you know so that you guys can understand it better so let's go ahead and click on product and let's go ahead and add a product manually so what i can do now is i'll just simply you know copy the information from this store over here i'll just simply copy the name and paste it over here i'm gonna go ahead and fill out this entire form and i will catch you guys in a little bit so i added the product over here as you can see so let me just go ahead and click on the buy button over here and add this product so click on create a buy button select the product so your store doesn't have any products yet i don't understand why that is let me just go ahead and fix that shall we okay so i think the reason why it wasn't you know giving us the option was because i wasn't you know setting up my shop properly so i have to first set up my shop and then i have to set up my point of sale so i just chose facebook and i logged in and i linked my account now i'm just preparing some more information and after that i think we'll be done and then we can connect our account so let's go ahead and connect a few pages that i created earlier and once that is done and then down below we have to create facebook pixel so facebook's uh, long term so i'm gonna go ahead and skip that and once we have done that we have to create an e-commerce account so let's go ahead and create one and once we've done that i'm sure we'll be able to set up our shop and then we'll be able to set up our buy button so accept the terms and conditions okay i think it's done so this option shares so let me just go ahead and skip that and click on finish so as you can see it's 
setting up let's wait a couple of seconds and see what happens and uh, okay so it's available all right so now we can go ahead and view the products and make them available so over here so now i have to set all of them as active so as you can see setting three active so so I, okay so they're now active so i'm sure we can now see them over onto our platform right here so let's go ahead and move over to the main account over here which is the light room over here let me just go over here in the product section select the product and set as active and wait a couple of seconds so it's active right now let's go ahead and click on the buy button click on create product product manage and select the product that we want click on select and as you can see the buy button is now ready this is how it is going to look like click on next so we can go ahead and copy this code and set up our buy button over onto these websites that are available if we already have one and then that is basically it boom we've created our buy button and it's the same for point of sale so if we come over here if we set up our point of sales so for the point of sale all you simply have to do is just download the app and then boom that is basically it then you can go ahead and add your pos staff you can set up locations set up shipping details and customize receipt and that is basically it so that is how you you know use the light version and the main version like in light version you basically sell things in person you don't have to you know sell all the products online if a person wants to buy your product they'll have to come to you in the light version and then in the standard version if a person wants to buy your product they'll basically have to go over to your sales channels which is right now i've set up facebook so they'll basically find that product from facebook and then they'll basically just buy that product and shopify will do everything for you and that is basically it guys that is how you you know use shopify Lite and shopify basic so before we end this video let me just show you that over here as you can see that the basic version costs you 29 dollars a month and you will receive all these different benefits and then shopify light plan it basically costs you so as you can see over here shopify light costs you nine dollars per month which is built every 30 days so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember guys if you want to use shopify click on the link in the description and you'll easily get your 14 day trial without having to pay any fee whatsoever so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye